In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically add new leads into a Google Sheet using Zapier. Let's talk about that. Hi, my name is Ryan Ferguson. I help businesses make more money using social media marketing. And in this video, I thought it would be helpful to show you how to automatically add new leads from a Facebook advertising campaign into a Google Sheet. Now, if you're working on behalf of a client, maybe you're running ads for them, maybe you're using a tool like ClickFunnels or Facebook lead generation ads, you're generating new leads for your clients. One challenge that I've experienced doing this is actually creating a list or a spreadsheet of all of these new leads that my client can see and access. They obviously will have access to their own Facebook page, which means they can go into the publishing tools and download any leads that you generate using Facebook lead generation ads. Um, but if you're using ClickFunnels, they won't have access to your ClickFunnels account most likely, so they can't see the leads. So I found it pretty helpful uh, and it provides a really easy and good experience for my clients to create a Google spreadsheet and have all of those leads collected there so that they can see them and access them easily. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that automatically using Zapier. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a spreadsheet in Google that you're gonna to wanna to share with your client. So here's an example I've created. It's called Test Lead Sheet and you're gonna create the columns for each of the pieces of information, each of the fields that you wanna collect from either your ClickFunnels campaign or your Facebook lead campaign. So for me, I collect first name, last name, email, and phone number in this example. So you're gonna to wanna to put those headings in the first row, and then right below them, you're gonna to wanna to input test data. I found that um, myself and others have experienced challenges getting this to work, and I think one of the reasons is some bug to do with um, Zappy are recognizing where they need to input this data. So if you put this test data right below each of your columns, then that should solve the problem and everything should work fine. So once you have this sheet created, we're gonna to go to Zapier. I'm gonna create a Zap. And the first thing it's gonna ask is a trigger event. So this is where you're collecting information from. So if you're using a Facebook lead ad or any other kind of lead generation integration, then you would select that as your trigger. In my case, I'm gonna use ClickFunnels for this example. From here, I'm gonna select the trigger that I wanna use. So I want this to trigger every time we get a new contact added. Click Save and Continue. Then it's gonna ask which ClickFunnels account I wanna to connect to. So I've got these two in here, so I'm gonna click on the one that I use. Click Save and Continue. And then it's gonna ask which funnel we want to access in this ClickFunnels account, and then which page in that funnel we want to look for this data from. So in this case, I'm gonna grab my personal brand lead generation realtors funnel, and then which funnel step are we collecting data from? So this is the page where people submit their information on. So I have two pages, a lead magnet page. When they submit their information, they go to a thank you page. So I wanna collect information on the page that they're submitting information. So select that and then click continue. And then from here, it's gonna ask us to pull in sample data. So if I click pull in samples, it's gonna pull in either a test sample or an existing contact in my database and use that to help us integrate with our next action. So once we do that, we can click continue. And now it's gonna ask us to set up an action step. So this is where we're going to select Google Sheets. And on my account, it shows Google Sheets under my frequently used apps. If you don't have it, then you can just search for Google and it should show up. So once you've selected Google Sheets, we're gonna set up the action. So what do we want it to do? We want it to either create a spreadsheet row, update an existing one, or look up a spreadsheet row. So we want it to create a new row on that spreadsheet that we just created. So we're gonna click Save and Continue. Now it's going to ask us to select a Gmail account. So I've already set up my account here. If you don't have your account connected, you can just click on this button and it'll ask you to log in. Once you do that, click Save and Continue. Now from here, it's gonna ask us to select a spreadsheet in our account and then the worksheet within that spreadsheet. So this might take a little while if you have a lot of spreadsheets on your Google account. Um, I've set up this test lead sheet. As you can see, that's the one that I was referring to earlier. And now we're gonna select the worksheet. So these are these tabs down here. So if you have multiple tabs, it wants you to select which one you're referring to. So we only have one in this case, sheet one. and you'll see that it automatically pulls in these headings from our sheet, the first name, last name, email, and phone number. So now what it's asking us to do is what information do we want added to each of these columns 
when a new lead is triggered by ClickFunnels. So I'm going to click on this little plus button and I'm going to take information from that sample data from ClickFunnels and insert it into this column. So the first name, I want to add the first name. And you just basically go through and match up each of these columns with the data from your ClickFunnels lead. Last name. Email. And phone. So this is going to update dynamically. Depending on the lead, the person's information that you've collected, this information is going to reflect whoever that person is and whatever their information is. So I'm just going to click continue. And it's going to give us an opportunity to test this step and see how it works. So we can scroll down here, everything looks good. And I'm going to click send test to Google Sheets. So it's going to test the integration uh, and it's going to try and send this information to our Google Sheet. So if I go back into it, you'll see the information has loaded in there. It's got the correct first name, last name, email. So everything looks good. Everything is set up and ready to go. So I'm just going to click finish. So now it's going to ask you to name your zap, select a folder you want to save it into, and then you just click this button here to turn it on. So now it's going to be good to go. You're all set up and your leads will automatically be added to your Google spreadsheet every time somebody signs up. Hope you gained some value from this video. My name is Ryan Ferguson. I'll see you in the next one.